I loved school. I knew what to expect and what was expected of me. Well, you were disappointed I wanted to go work with my hands instead of my brains. Well, I forgot that as soon as you took me to the beach. Speaking of hands, where were they in that How? picture? How? <laughs> still have a lot more. You always said kids are best when they're sleeping. Maybe it's the school teacher in me wanting a quiet classroom. I really hoped that hamster I gave him would teach him responsibility. Well, it did. It's a responsible picnic. Until you took over. <laughs> well, they're kids. What can I tell you? Hal, we've built a good life, haven't we? I'm so anxious for this new house to be finished. I love you. I'm just going to hit the library. I'll meet you in the staff room. Understand that? I think you did. I'm a doctor, and I'm a very good one. And I'm here to help you. Your husband's here, too. He loves you very much. Now try to say what I say. My name is Beverly Slater. 
I was in an accident. My name is Beverly Slater. My name is Beverly Slater. My name... Well, we know you can talk. You're doing fine. Oh, am I? Tell me how this feels. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Good. Sharp. Can I open your eyes? I like you. Yes, that's because I'm your doctor. As soon as you're well, you'll get over it. Now touch your nose and then my finger. Good. Good. Now, can you tell us what your earliest memory was? I woke up and there was a man leaning over me. Your husband? The amnesia is caused by damage in this area. In addition, there's been frontal brain damage, which will cause some personality change. She's impulsive. She'll follow her moods. She'll probably be a lot more outgoing and uninhibited. You will she'll act the same as always when the memory comes back, right? No. Personality change is permanent. You're going to be living with a new lady. Glad she's alive. You just remember that when things get difficult. Yeah. What do you think, how long before she knows us? I mean, the kids. Oh, I wish I could give you a nice, clean medical summary, but usually after short periods of time, pieces will come back. Something might act like a connection. And sometimes she's just on the edge of a connection, and then, then it's gone. How long did you say you've been married? Fifteen years. Can you think of anything in her life or yours that she might want to block out, get away from? Nope. I told you we've been too happy. Okay, okay, let's go. Can you tell us about your family? I have um, a daughter and a son, and I have a mother and a father. I've never met them, though. I've seen pictures. What do you feel when you look at them? Um, nothing. Her loss in the personal area is total. Yet from the beginning, her vocabulary was extensive. She recognized objects, but not always what they were for. She knew what a clock was, but not how to tell time. Could it be uh, psychological? Brought on by the head trauma. She was hit by a car. You know, there's nothing psychological about it. It's not some neurotic. Mr. Slater, we're just trying to cover all the possibilities. What about drugs or hypnosis? Let's give her a break. Thank you for what you said in there. Honey, I want to tell you something. No one's going to do anything here that you don't want. And that's going to go for me, too. I'm trying so hard to understand that you're my husband and I have children. But I don't understand. If I have a family, why do I feel so alone? I don't understand you're that. Not alone. You hear me? Here's the books he asked for. There's your dictionary and your biology, your history. Thank you. Everything you need. You just remember we love you, we're going to take care of you, and we're going to get it all back. We're going to get it all back. I will. You know, I remember everything since the accident. Dr. Fairmont. Dr. Fairmont. I can't Oh, wait, stop. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't be frightened like that. It's me. Now, each set of cards will help you relearn the order in which you do something. For example, uh, what are the first five things you do when you wake up? I wake up. I um, go to the bathroom. Good. We'll write this on this white card. The next will be yellow. Brush my teeth. Good.
remember something. <laughs> and then I woke up. Is that still the first thing? Yeah. Well, as long as you remember everything from that point on, you'll be able to learn. Live a normal life. Well, I'll learn to live with strangers. Food group here. I'll just check your list. Am I got a spaghetti and meatballs. Wanna make that too? I used to love this. You sure? Had it three times a week, first ten years of our marriage. I'm real sure. You know, sometimes you're awfully nice. Yeah. Yeah, you're almost as nice as Dr. Davidson. I don't know why almost. I can't tell you that. Sure you can. I'm your husband, aren't I? That mean I have to tell you everything? I wish you would. I have to think about that. Want we'll to get a table? How much is that, ma'am? Eight dollars and sixty cents, please. Did we all eat the same things at home? Yeah, except say breakfast or something like that. Oh. Hmm. Well, what if we don't like the same things? Well, we do. Well, I mean, I don't know if we do. I haven't tasted all kinds of food yet. I mean, that's why I have this list here. Yeah, that's the point. Did I like orange food before? Well, <laughs> this cantaloupe is not orange. I said melon over there. Yeah, well, it is the same thing. You just uh, got to distinguish between your colors and your, your uh, food groups there. I don't want to eat with you anymore. Beverly. Hi. Can I sit with you? Sure. What are you having? Chef salad. Bev. I said I don't want to have lunch with you. I'm sorry, she... If you're sorry, then go away. We were just finishing up. You don't have to go. Please don't go. Please don't... Don't go. Look at that. You made him leave. You made him go away. Stop it. Stop, Stop it. You cannot go over to strangers and sit down with them like that. That's not right. Well, if you'd let me talk to them, they wouldn't be strangers, would they? And that's what I wait for. All day. That's why I rush home without even changing my costume. Hungry. Would you like a sandwich? Thank you. I don't have a little work on this one. Hi. Are you a new doctor? No. I'm your mother. Well, you could answer some questions for me then. Oh, I should have said hello first. I'm sorry. That, that wasn't right, was it? It's all right. Well, how do mothers and daughters say hello? Depends on how they got along. They might hug. Would you give me a hug? Well, of course. I like you. Good. I like you, too. I'm going to help you with your hair. Do you have any other children? Just you. Why? We'll talk about that some other time. I used to do this when you were a little girl. You always had such pretty hair. Why are you doing that? This is always the way you used to fix it. Well, you look great. Your father's right here with the kids. Stuart and Joan? Yeah, so excited you won't believe it. Oh, where's Dr. Davidson? Yeah, there they are. Name me a 
father. Oh. I brought the kids. There's, there's Joni. Joni. Stu. Hi, Mom. I made these for you. I helped with it. Yeah, the beast helped. I missed you, Mom. Oh, don't, don't do that, please. Oh, he's, he's please. Right. I love you, Mom. It's been a mistake. I missed you. Please, there's been a mistake. Yeah. Go, go. Please, go. Get out of here. All of you, just go. There's been a mistake. Please, everybody, leave. Please, Mr. Davidson. Please. Uh, I'll get it. Daddy, I want Mommy. I want Mommy. I want Mommy. I want Mommy. I want my Mommy. Give me Mommy. Stay with Daddy. They just can't be. Even these books say I'd feel something. You've seen the pictures, birth certificates. But I, I can't believe I would have had children and not know it. I, I just, I would feel something. What do you feel now? I feel, I feel terrible. I feel sorry for them. Those kids want a mother to love them, but they're not mine. Go no home, way. get to know them once you start to care for them. I don't know them. how to do that. Dr. Not even a person myself yet. Oh, please let me stay here. You're almost well. We can't keep you here. It would be easier for me to go home with you. How's that? Because you're kind and you don't expect anything from me. Sure I do. I expect you to go out there. And I'll be around if you need me. Dr. Grice, Dr. Grice, to obstetrics, please. Hi. They look very nice. Your hair, huh? You like it? That's a new look. Thank you for the robe. See that house out there? The white one there? Yeah. The family lives there. They make up stories about them. And what kind of stories? Oh. There's stories about what it's like to live in a house. I don't have kids and a husband. And just what it's like to have a life. You have a life, Bev. I have a life here. Oh, you this have is a my, life. This is my life. Husband, I don't have a life. Have I don't even know what's out there. You ask me and I will tell you. I don't know what to ask you. I don't even know what to ask you. I have this stack of cards and it tells me exactly what I used to do. That's all. I'm not a person. I'm a stack of cards. The children are here, so. Nurse Debner. Nurse Debner. Okay. Bad, Mom. Likes your hair. Oh, thank you. you. Want to turn that off? Your mother doesn't like that noise. Oh, I, I like it. No, uh, don't I? Sure. You want to keep it till you come home? Oh, but that's yours. It's okay. Thank you. The station gets the most music. Okay. Hey, Stuart. Thank you. Um, for those cookies and the, and the card you sent me. We saw you that morning at the bus stop, just like always. Well, when I get home, um, I'll, I'll come to the bus stop again. I'll see you there. Oh, you're right. 
she really is different. You spent so much time taking care of her, you've forgotten your own loss. Years of love, things shared. I'll just have to get him back, that's all we can do, right? Concentrate on now. How you relate now matters a lot to the future of your life together. Talking about our marriage again? How? To her, your marriage began the day she woke up. Your mother and father be there? Oh, both of my folks are dead, honey. I'm sorry. I don't know. There's the old quarry road. We go swimming sometimes. That's the school where we met. Uh, are we going to pass the accident? No. Right close to home now. It's nice to walk down this bridge and meet me right here. Have a picnic. Your truck? Yep. It's funny, on mornings when you leave first, you'd always leave my lunch there on the front seat. Why'd I do that? I don't know. Guess you thought I'd forget it. I won't look. I'm not watching. some food over. You'll just have to heat things. Oh, we can show you how. Joan's been taking care of everything for you. You want me to show you around? 
I, I'd really like to just look around. Can I just look around? Your house. Look, let's everybody act real natural. Just let her look around. We'll all get back to normal in no time, okay? Oh. <laughs> Evelyn, if there's anything we can do to help. Oh, thank you. Look at this fire. It's wonderful, isn't it? I mean, Hal described it to me. He showed me some pictures, but it really doesn't do anything to describe it. That was, uh, that belonged to your grandmother. Oh? Mm hmm Did I know her? Oh, yes. Here, this is her picture. Was she nice? Well, she had a way about her. Did I like these pillows and uh, all these dark colors? Did I like this stuff? You must have. You made it. I just keep thinking I'm going to wake up. It's all going to be a terrible mistake. I just, I'll just wake up. What are those? Oh, these are my sequencing cards. These helped me relearn the things I used to do, like cooking breakfast and lunch. And... But you always cook breakfast and lunch. Here, look. I've got one right here. It's all about Stuart and what you like the best. Anything look familiar? Mm hmm Yes, right, right? <laughs> What's this? It's Animal, my hamster. Where'd you get him? I like him. You gave him to me. Go on, play. Sure. Come in. Hi. Hi. I uh, came to return your radio. Thank you. Thanks. Help me with my exercises. What exercises? Well, sometimes when you lose your memory, you don't remember the order of things, and you know what comes first and second, and so on. You mean like eating dessert before dinner? Yes. What exercises do you do for that? Dance, just jazz steps. What? You dance? Yes, I dance. This I've got to see. See, they taught me these steps, and then I had to remember how they went together. Because if you can learn to sequence properly in one area, then you can do it with other things. And the music just helps you remember. So, when you cook dinner, you'll do it to music? <laughs> Maybe. Come on, skeptic. Now, start with your right foot, okay? And step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, and back two steps. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, and back two steps, okay? A double time. Touch, 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 step, step, double time. Come on, move your shoulders. <laughs> That's it. Let it go. I think I got it. Gotta go. Where'd you get these? In the other suitcase in that closet upstairs. Well, the suitcase for our trip. You were supposed to unpack those, weren't you? I guess I forgot, Daddy. Yeah, we were packed. We are ready to leave for Jamaica. You had the accidents. We'd have been over there for Valentine's Day. And... Well, what's Jamaica? It's an island. Is it nice? Oh, yeah. You loved it a lot. I'll show you. I've got all the postcards you used to send. 
Yeah, let's say we get a little slideshow going here, huh, Stu? Oh, we've seen him. I haven't. What, what is it? I want to see him again. Come on. Let's get the stuff, huh? What's a slideshow? Pictures. My family history. Oh, Jamaica. That's Jamaica? That's work. That's work. Oh, no. This is Joni's idea of creative horseplay. Leave me alone. All right, Joni. Back of your truck. Your truck. Yep. Oh, that Halloween. Oh, no. That's the night we almost burnt the house down. <laughs> the whole fire department out here that night. Stuart's fault. <laughs> it was not. You dropped the sparkler. I did not. <laughs> Oh, that's up in Coos Bay when I caught that 12-pounder. I caught it. You caught it, you did not. You and Pinocchio caught it. Yeah, Stu was drinking Mai Tais when he took this photo. Great shot. <laughs> Sorry. In my case, that you ate all the food. Until we got my present. Jamaica. Right near the seashore. I'd love to go there. Jamaica. Now, this is really like I'm in somebody else's place by mistake. I... The woman in those slides, you really love her. I can see that. I love her. I'll try to get her back for you. I'll try her every way I know how. For us. Sleeping out here. Oh, it's just easier for your mom, huh? You're gonna stay here till she remembers you? I don't know, honey. I guess we'll just have to see him. Oh, well, my real mother, Ben. She is your own mother. Come on, I'll put you to bed. Come here. Oh, come to your gang and up on me. Bum, 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 bum,
upstairs having breakfast. Well, get him downstairs. He's gonna be late for school. Hey, uh... Bye, Mom. Bye. Well, don't forget I'll be a little late. My lunch. Oh, it's, it's in your truck. Well, thanks. See you tonight. Huh? Okay. eat alone, so I looked on your worksheet and then I looked on my map and there I am. Hello, I'm Beverly Slater. Hey, Bev, it's me, Pete. You remember Pete and Helen? Oh, and you, you sent me some flowers when I was in the hospital, right? And I wrote a note and thanked you, right? You sure did, honey. <laughs> it's great to see you. You look terrific. Thank you. Yeah, Pete was best man at our wedding. Oh, well, if he was the best man, why'd I marry you? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Doesn't make much sense, does it? No. <laughs> yeah, we must have something special going there, huh? Well, of course we did. I didn't mean anything by that. Hey, listen, I'm going to take off and get that drill. Is there anything we need? Nope. Take care, huh? Okay, it was nice to meet you. I mean, whatever. I'm sorry. I guess I shouldn't have come. I just... I was lonesome for some company. <laughs> you get lonesome for her. Want some to eat? It's okay, you can go. before better now well before whenever I'd say anything you'd say oh mother <laughs> now you don't remember all the things I did to bug you what's it like making love with Lou Beverly shouldn't I have asked you that well being that close to someone you love is a wonderful thing what does it feel like if you're not in love with him. Well, I've never been with anyone but Lou. But I imagine it could feel exciting, physically. I want those feelings, Mom. I want to... I want to touch a man. I want to know what it's like to make love. With someone other than Hal? Well, Hal still sleeps on the couch. Have you asked him to come to bed? It's... I, I don't know. It, if I'm in love with him, or if I just want to know what it feels like. I didn't realize. I thought, well, I don't know what I thought. You know, sometimes I wish he'd just come over and take a hold of me. Yeah, but he's trying to be considerate, you see. Well, I'm, I know that, but it'd be so much easier if I just met him. In a way, you have. He's waiting for the woman that he knew to come back, for me to love him the way I used to. I mean, it's always between us. I don't know how to get past it. Might be interesting to try.
here. Take my picture. I got the camera. The red button. There. Um, right. <coughs> Stuart, come take a picture with me. I don't want to. Oh, I do. Here. You take us. Red button, okay? These look so pretty. Oh, thanks. I'm going to tell. You shut up. You shut up. Why do oh, you just let your own guy? Where are you going? Isn't she pretty? She's very pretty. What did you do? What? Your ears. You were not supposed to have them pierced. I wanted you for the dance. I told her she could do that, Hal. Go to your room. She was supposed to wait till she was 13. All the other kids are doing it now. Well, what other kids do nowadays isn't a reason to do things. You know, you used to tell her that yourself. I don't care what I used to tell her. You know, that things are different now. I took advantage because you didn't remember. Have you done this with other things? No. Tell you what. Next time something like this comes up, just talk to me about it. And then I'll tell you what I think now. Okay? I promise. Okay. You're not mad? I'm sorry about before, Joan. Me too. No, you were right. You were. Why don't you tell Joan? She'll feel better. I will. So what do you think being home here? Anything like you thought it would be? Sometimes. I think mostly when we're in the kitchen and everybody's laughing. And then everybody goes off. How'd you like to go off with me for a weekend? To Jamaica? <laughs> I was thinking of something a little closer than that. <laughs> Does it have a beach? Yeah, it has a beach. What's the matter? I... What's the matter? I don't know what to do. It's all right. It's all right. Hey, Daddy. I had a scary dream. Well, I'll have to put you to bed then, won't I? Don't forget about Joan. I always liked the beach, didn't I? That's right. Yeah? Yeah. I'll push you to the rocks.
I've never seen you before. Saying it's the most fun you had in years. Well, it was. Can't say I feel faithful, though. Just like having an affair with someone, I guess. <laughs> you feel guilty because you like some of the change, pal. No, I don't feel guilty about nothing. I just told you. I feel like it would have been anybody. Even a guy like you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm the best. So, how's it working with the kids? Oh, Joan loves her. Stuart's having a rough time, you know. He was her baby, but uh, she tries real hard. That's every man's dream. After 15 years, she turns into a terrific new lady. You're young, you're turned on all over again. Yeah, I am. Just miss a lady I knew. Knew me. We were in sync, right? It's all changed. You know what your problem is? You don't like change, and that's why you're working for somebody else. Start in the house, house right? chance we can have our own business. Hey, Peter, Peter! I'm not mortgaging my house. Hey, you know this business as well as I do. Well, I'm going for this deal with or without you. If I have to hawk everything I own. Yeah, what do you own, Peter? <laughs> well, when's your party? Next week. We'll be there. You know what? How the hypnosis go? Well, listen, I get discouraged. Where are we going? Looking back. Is that? That's ours. Ours. <laughs> are you building it? We are. Talk to you. We wanted our own house. 
And, and we saved. Yeah. We bought the land. And, and we talked about the house the way we wanted it. That's right. We were going to make it everything that we loved. That's right. Um, uh, you did it yourself um, on weekends and after work. <sighs> Come on, Beth. And in our bedroom, there's a huge window where I can sit and I can look out, and the fireplace is right there. And Wait a minute. Where, where, where are you going? Well, it could be that way, couldn't it? Yeah, it could be. It wasn't, though. What did you make that up for? Because if I told you there was no chance of me remembering, you wouldn't want me. What did the doctor say to you? Yes. What did he say? Come on, answer me, damn it! It's gone! It's totally wiped out! Why don't you just tell me that then? Oh, make love to me. Right here, just the way we did at the beach. What are you doing, Beth? Uh, please. What are you doing? You're please. telling me 15 years of our life is over here and you're asking me to make love. What are you doing? Yes. What are you doing? Don't no, stop. Come on. What are you doing? Stop it, will you? You know that even when you're making love to me, you're thinking, you're wishing that it would just trigger a memory. Well, it won't. This is it. Just me. The way I am now, Hal. That's it. <laughs> shopping. Welcome back. You look fabulous. Thank you. I'm sorry. I don't know your name. You know what? I, I, I don't remember anything before the accident. D do I know you? Sorry. I, I didn't know just that you were hurt but getting better. I'm Pat. Pat, okay. I... They tell me I used to teach here. Sure did. Yeah? Come in with me. I'll show you around. Mrs. Slater, it's great to see you. Your hair looks fantastic. Thank you. My daughter says it looks rad. <laughs> Was I a good teacher? Good, but tough. You worked hard and you expected them to do the same. You know, I'd really like to come back and watch a class sometime. Could I? Sure. I'll show you the works. We have lunch. There's a great Greek restaurant. I'll call you. Okay. Okay, class. We're gonna get started. Quiet down, please. Yeah, we're gonna get started. We have a lot of work to cover today. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You'll be okay? Yeah, I'm not gonna embarrass you. Oh, I know that. No one here knows, right? Yeah. I can still talk to people. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Hank, don't get going on the Woodstock generation. Boring. I missed it. I grew up worrying about my cashmere sweaters. <laughs> what about you? Are you a flower child, too? Um, I like flowers, yes. 
Are your kids reactionaries? Oh, I don't know. If you're not sure, then you must be doing something right. <laughs> oh, honey, we ought to go. Well, you just got here. Well, they're leaving for Europe. Right, a very early plane, and they still got packing to do. You know that other couple that we were talking with, uh, gonna be in Paris tomorrow night. How's that sound? I don't know. Oh, you've never been to Paris? Uh, no. <laughs> Is that so wonderful? Well, I call it the city of light. What are your favorite cities? Paris, uh, New York and London, or I, I don't know, there's so many of them, it's hard to say. How about you? I've really only seen one. <laughs> Really? Where you been? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, is something wrong? No. Um, I was in an accident, and I don't remember anything that happened before that. When did this happen? About four months ago. Do you mind talking about it? No. So. It's just this is the first time I've ever been around people that didn't know. Well, you did great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you don't remember anything that happened in your life or in the world? It... No. I mean, I remember everything that happened since the accident. I've been, I've been reading history and yearbooks. Um, you know, mostly things that have happened within my lifetime. So you're just starting all over again. It's kind of incredible. I can think of a lot of things in my life I'd love to wipe out. A lot of things I wish I could remember. Yeah, look at it this way. You're seeing a whole new world. It's, everything is bright and fresh. And anybody who's with you gets to see it again for the first time through your eyes. Thank you. I will think of it that way. I'm glad I met you. Me too. Oh, I gotta go. Night. Oh, honey. You know, there was a couple that was leaving for Europe tonight. Have we ever been to Paris? No. Oh, good. And we could go together. You know, I'd love to plan a trip where everything that we do is the first time for both of us. Well, all trips take are time and money, honey. Well, we could use my accident money. Yeah. You know, I was uh, talking with this man tonight. Yeah, I noticed. Who was he? Uh, I don't know what his name was. But um, I told him about the accident. He seemed to see things very differently. Okay. Oh. Well. He said that since everything was new to me, that you got to see the whole world all over again through my eyes, and that we could discover a whole new world together. Oh, well, he hasn't lost 15 years of the old one, though, has he? I've lost all of the old one. You know, we have something different now. Why can't you just let yourself enjoy that? He's probably coming on to you. He was being very nice, and I think what he said makes sense. Yeah. So the way he watched you. You're jealous. I talked to him, he liked me, and you're jealous. Can we drop it? What was I like at parties before? I mean, did we fight afterwards? We were we just happy to we end up together? We didn't have to fight. We just saw things the same way. We understood what That's what I'm trying to do right now. Understand. It was a very nice party. Why is this happening? I don't know. It's got other things in my mind, I guess. I'm exhausted. Let's go to sleep, all right? say to each other when they get married. I do. What else? I don't remember.
Hi. Hi. Roger Hammond. Yeah. That's my building right there. Beverly Slater. <laughs> Still studying, huh? Yes. I was just wondering what to do about lunch. Would you have lunch with me? Hey, I'd like that. Great. Can I take something? Yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> well, where do you yeah. want to go? Chinese? What? Hey, you got? I've thought an awful lot about you since that night. Uh, what it would be like to see the world again for the very first time. I, I think it would be exciting. And yet I, I wonder if I wouldn't feel as if I were on the outside looking in. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. It's just, um... I was a teacher before, and, well, they say I was a pretty good one. I stood outside the classroom the other day, looking in. I'm going to be back in there again. I'm going to learn it all over again, and I will teach. Is that why all the medical books? Yeah. Do you like the water? The ocean? Yes, I love it. My husband said I always liked it. You know what? I, it's getting late. I've got to pick my son up from practice. I better go. I have a boat. And I remember what it was like the first time I was out there, and there was nothing. I mean, there was nothing but ocean and sky. And I'd love to be the first one to show it to you. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't really think I could do that. Couldn't? Well, you learned you shouldn't. Well, it becomes the same thing. My boat's at Vantage Point, and it's called the Kestrel Two. Thank you for lunch. Mm hmm. turn I got lost I don't like you anymore Stuart wait I want my real mother back what's the matter with you come here what's going on here I got lost I, I missed him at practice hey Stuart you got lost how'd you do that I drove up to Fairview with some fabrics and I took a wrong turn on the way back I just hey, well, you're going to Fairview you're not shot there do you no, uh, not normally, but my mother said I could find better fabrics out there. Oh, well, he was probably thinking you might have had another accident. What were you doing there anyway? I was shopping. Then I had lunch. And, oh, you know, I had lunch with that man that we met at the party. But I left there in plenty of time, and then uh, I took this dumb turn, and I... Oh, well, terrific. Right. I gotta worry about how you spend your afternoons, huh? What are you getting upset about? I, I'm upset. I could understand why Stuart would be upset. Can you? Are you ever going to stop punishing me for not remembering? I'm not punishing you. I don't want to worry about the kid, all right? Or my wife lollygagging around with some hoity-toity dude from Fairview. You're worrying about the wrong thing. No, I'm not worrying about nothing here. I'm tired, you understand? I'm tired of surprises. I can't rely on you. I don't know who the hell you are anymore. You know, when I, I came home with you, I had no idea who you were. You asked me to trust you, and I did. Now, why won't you trust me? Are we having dinner ever? Or are you guys going to keep fighting? Hey. Can I help? Can I do that? Well, I'm basically finished. Kiss mommy goodnight. You gotta talk to him, Beth. He's saying no to the deal. Cal doesn't think I know anything about business or his work. Well, it's his house he's building for you. So all he needs to do is take out a loan on it and the land and make up his share. Is that risky? Well, I don't think so. Well, well see, Hal feels that the way he used to be, you'd never take that chance. He's just being loyal in some way. Pete, 
You were our best man. You've known me a long time. Yeah. Now, have I really changed that much? <laughs> well, I mean, you were different. I mean, you guys work hard for things. You held on to them. I guess it worked for you. I really think you should go for it this time, Bev. I mean, we can make this work. No, so do I. I'll try. Hi. Hi. Pete told me you said no to the deal. Yeah. Can I tell you why? Do it, Hal. Raise the money. Leave this to me. I'm all right. I've done all right for this family so far. Please. Let go of the past. It's still a little too real for me, Beth, you know? Well, what about the beach? Was that real? It was vacation. You can't live your whole life that way. I can't live my life like this. How the woman you loved is dead. Oh, she's standing right yeah, here. Yeah, she's not. I've tried. God, I didn't want to be like her even if I could. I don't. And I hate this house. I hate it. It's tying us to a past that is gone. I've lost too much of my life. I don't want to lose the rest of it. You don't want to remember. And that's it, isn't it? That's your out. Well, if it isn't, damn it, don't play games with me. How dare you? I have done nothing but try to make a new life with you. I came into a house full of strangers, and I thought we were finally becoming a family, but we can't because you won't let us be. You keep seeing me as a stranger, and I can't live like that. I... I hell, I'm leaving. I'm just leaving. What are you talking about? I'm taking the asset of money and I'm going Why? Because I won't go into a business deal. It has nothing to do with a deal! Do you understand that? It is so lonely living with you. Don't you understand that? I, I can't I can't do it anymore. You don't see me. You don't even try to. Well, let's it. forget about me then. What about the kids? The kids can see me whenever they want. If they want. If they want. They just marched into hell and back for you. They did it for you. What about their lives? What is it? It's just over? Oh, no. Hell, I didn't ask for anything to be over. I have been asking and asking you for a beginning, but you're too damn blind. You go below and uh, put on a sweatshirt. Okay. Oh, take off those shoes. Watching you. Did you grow up around boats? I grew up in farm country. Well, how'd you get here? Ran away from home. Joined the Navy. I was stationed in New London. Could you teach me to sail? Okay. We'll, uh, we'll sail up the coast next weekend and drop anchor. When you're on the water at night. What? What? You're sailing. Yeah. <laughs> Will she ever come back? I hope so. Did she leave because it wasn't nice to her all the time? No, no, I told you. That's got nothing to do with you. It was anybody. It was Dad. That's a lie. That's not true at all. Dad, tell her why she left. I don't need to be told. Hey, Joan. You didn't really make her go, 
Well, did you, Dad? Well, remember at first when she didn't know us? Yeah. I guess she felt I didn't know her either. But you do know her. She's our mother. Cold? A little bit. Thank you. You see why I like it so much? Oh. It feels like it's so far from everything. It's disconnected from the world. That's why you like me, isn't it? I'm disconnected, too. I do like that about you. Do you mind? Huh? It's really peaceful. Where did your marriage break up? I don't know. I guess things just uh, come to an end. But did you just let it happen, or, or did you fight to keep it going? Uh, both sides have to want to fight. If you could get your memory back, but you had to be the old Bev again, instead of being who you are now, which would you choose? I just want to live now. You still think of him? It's just I've, ne I've never been with anyone else. <laughs> it sure looks like fun down there. Well, it takes an act of faith in young bones. Oh. <laughs> Happy I told you I was looking. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's fill it, see if it works. Wow. Did I give you any of these? No. Once you grew up, you thought I should stop smoking. Well, I was probably right. Hal sure is good with those kids, isn't he? Were we like that? Seems to me when you were little, I spent all my time earning a living. Come on, come on, not in your wet suit. Ah. Oh, a tiger! <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I saw your somersault out there. That was quite something. Yeah, he's been, uh, he's been taking gymnastics at the day camp there. Get into some dry clothes here. I'm soaked. Sure. Go on up. Help yourself. How's it going? Fine. Good. Let's go, Chief. Get some dry clothes here. I met someone, Dad. Someone important to you? Well, he's fun. 
He doesn't care about the past. He likes me the way I am now. And that's what you want. Is that so wrong? No. Kestrel 2. Come in, Kestrel 2. Yeah, Marina, this is Kestrel 2. Over. Wait one. The secret of getting away is not to let anybody know where you are. Me? Yes. This is Mrs. Slater. I'm sorry, could you could you repeat that? Where? Oh, yeah, no, it, it, it's, um, it's at the camp. Is that what you said? Okay. Um, can you hear me all right? Would you please tell him that I am coming, that I am on my way? Make sure he knows that I'm on my way. Okay, thank you. I've got to get back. They what? can't find how. What uh, well, my little boy, he's hurt. He fell off the horse. You look shaken. Are you okay? Well, I just keep thinking about this little boy. I mean, he's hurt, and he's all alone, and he's probably frightened. I, I just, I, I want to be there for him. I don't want to let him down. You won't let him down. Stuart? Hey, what happened? This. That's it, huh? Is it all? Well, I was afraid you... How are you doing? Pretty okay. Uh -huh. How's the horse? Uh, it wasn't a real horse. It was just a gym horse. Hi! <laughs> He's fine. You might want to check him out with your family doctor, though. Here's the report. Okay, thank you very much. Let's go home. Uh, could I uh, talk to you for a minute? Sure. Yeah, about you. Why don't you go in and get Mom's car? It's right at the top of the hill. Be right there. He's a sweet kid, but he's been a real problem lately. Why? Uh, no. Disrupts the class, demands a lot of attention, gets into fights. He fell today because he wouldn't obey the rules. Well, you know, he's been angry with me. That might be what it is. I'll talk to him. Thanks. Thank you. I could have cut through the stream and walked home. What's going on with you, kiddo? Hmm? You're getting into some fights, disrupting the class. What's happening? Stuart. Stuart. Stuart, wait, 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 wait. Stop running away. I hate you. You didn't want us that day in the hospital, and you don't want us now. That's not true. I was scared, just like you. Stuart, you know, I think you're scared because you're having to live without the mother that you loved and that you still want. Well, I can understand that. But, honey, I can't give her back to you. I could give you something else. But you've got to give me a chance. My mother wouldn't forget. Honey, I didn't forget you. I had an accident. It, just like you did. See, you can't use part of your arm now. Well, I can't use part of my brain. Difference is that your arm's going to get better, and I won't. Did it hurt? Yes, it hurt. It doesn't hurt as much as realizing I've lost all those years of you growing up, though. Maybe you should tell your mother about them sometime. I'd sure like that. Hey, thanks for getting them. Yeah. You all right? Oh, great. I talked to the um, counselor. Yeah, she told me. Don't spoil camp just because you're mad at me. Ask her. Mom? Coming home? <sighs> hey, 
Hey, how'd you like to have dinner with me some night, Bev? You mean with just you? Yeah. Just me. Promise you won't talk about the past? No promises, no orders, right? Take my chances. I'll beat you this time. I've got the keys. Oh, no, you don't. You, I guess losing a house didn't seem so important. Me or the old bed? Oh, no. It was you. Yep. It was you I missed. Well, why couldn't you do this before? I don't know. I couldn't. That's why. I had my own time, and I wasn't ready. But you're leaving, sort of, free me. Am I supposed to say that's wonderful and come back now? No, I didn't ask you back. I asked you out to dinner. Oh. You gonna be okay here with all lights? simple, be clearer. And is it? The more I see the world, the more I realize how much I'm missing. You're finally admitting the pain. You know, when I heard Stuart was hurt, the feeling that I had was so powerful. I, I had to get to him. I had to care for him. Now, where does that come from? You tell me. Can you make a connection between him now and him as a baby? You know, sometimes when he would go to bed at night and he was all clean and warm from his bath, you know, I, I'd, I'd hug him and I could smell him. And, and I, just, I had this, it was like a little imagination thing of, of what it would be like if he was little, if he was still a baby. Do you like that feeling? It was overwhelming. That was a wonderful weekend. We can do it every weekend. If we could take the kids sometime. I really miss them. Okay, sure. You don't want that, do you? I want us to be together. But, Bev, don't let them reel you back in. left? I think so. Hi. I just, uh, I'd like to talk to my wife. That's up to her. It's all right. I'll wait, I'll wait out here. Wait a minute. What, what is it? You want me to take care of this? Uh, no, it's all right. There's, there is some brandy in there. Why did 
did you come here without calling? You had no right to do that. Your father died, Beth. What? Friday. He just felt funny and wanted air, and he got up to go to a window. He collapsed. The medics couldn't do nothing. They said it was a ruptured aorta, and I just took a chance and wanted you to hear from me. Well, what do we do now? They took care of everything. The funeral information's right there. How's Mom? She's holding together. to a window to get some air, and then he died. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do? Uh, you know, I... I didn't even know him. I kept meaning to do that, and, and then I just... Father hated those formal arrangements. We are here to mark the passing of a beloved husband, father, and friend. Let us pray. Almighty God, teach us to count how few days we have, and so gain wisdom of heart. Amen. Amen. And now, Hal would like to say a few words. Well. Lou chose the life he wanted in a town that he loved. Huh? He helped build. He gave to all of us. We mourn the loss of him. With time, we'll remember our funny and loving memories. We'll stop grieving. Not even here by our sides. We'll feel them always. In our hearts.
talk about it? Yeah. I'm afraid I'm going to disappoint you. They got you? Uh. You're throwing away the gift of a lifetime, you know that. Well, you've certainly made it seem that way. How about if I made a commitment? Would that make any difference? <laughs> I know it's shocking, isn't it? I don't want to lose you. I come with attachments that you don't really want. I just think it would hurt less if we just stop right now. Come with me. I can take care of you. I want Roger, to take no. care of you. I can't. Changed it. The window. Now you can sit, look out, and see the fire at the same time. It was easier than changing you. I want to come back and finish this with you. What about the guy you're with? How do I handle it? It's over for me. The rest is up to you. Come home then. 